We're back. Welcome back. And as you can see, we have a new setup. Not in a car. Not in a car. So, everybody's wondering. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're not in the car anymore? I thought you guys were homeless. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, so the first topic of today, right? Yeah. So, I was thinking about this shit, and this really got me, right? Mind bogglers. Oh god, alright. <laughs> so, bro, alright. Hear me out, but think about it, right? Yeah. Is a room really empty if you're inside of it? I mean, no, because you're in it. And how would we ever know if a room is necessarily empty? If we're not in it? Yeah. That and, like, you got to count the things that are inside of the room. You know what's crazy? There's there's this one theory. You, you know how the whole, like, saying is if a tree falls in the forest doesn't make a sound yeah it stems from the fact like do the atoms recognize like it's kind of like a game if you go somewhere everything is like shown to you does the same thing happen if you're not there somebody so does the world like reconcile within itself if you're not there bro which is the crazy part because um so basically like you didn't like mind. it? Yeah, I changed my mind. I, I hate holding it, actually. It's so much better off. You yeah. just, like, lean back, and it's, like, nice. All right, hold on. Let me you got to, like, yeah, put the stand. There you go. There we go. And then let me turn your ass just like that. All right, so basically, right? So what I found out was, bro, wait, what were we talking about again? Is a room really empty if you're not there? No, but then you said something <coughs> else about... Uh, I said about, okay, so, like, do the atoms really recognize if you're not there? So it's kind of like the same thing, except yeah. if you're not there, what's the purpose of them doing something? <laughs> Shit, man. <coughs> <But>. So. <coughs> Hold on, let me cough it out. <coughs> yeah, get it out. Get it out of your system. <coughs> but I hate being sick. Kind this motherfucker of. is dying. <coughs> Guys, he is dying. Because the atoms are not there. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, um, <coughs> so basically what I was going to say on that topic is that, like, so there's theory running around that, that, like, what if, what if, like, is it, is it possible for somebody to conjure up a whole different reality inside of their mind? Explain. So, like, so, like, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say deep down inside. I'm really fucking insane, right? Yeah. And who's to say that I didn't just make up this this reality that I'm living in right now to be like, oh, I have a friend named Enrique, and he's my best friend, and we, we record do, podcasts, yeah. and I have 1.8 million followers online, this, that, and the third. But I'm not really real. Yeah. So, like, you know how a child will, like, Will like kind of imagine like a best friend, yeah, and like in like a whole different reality. And where to him, fly. it's all real and everything. Yeah, but to us, it's like, what are you talking about? Exactly. Nah, bro, that shit blew my fucking mind. Cause I was like, I was like, damn, what if I'm really like, like a psychopath, and like, and like, let's just say one day I snap out of it, and then I'm like seven years old or some shit. That's wild. Yeah, bro. No, I couldn't. Like, what? Imagine all the hardships and everything you've been through. Oh, just, my God. Just so for gang. it to be like, fuck no. You ready for dinner? Oh, fuck no, no bro. No, you I wake couldn't. up one day, you wake up one day and you, and like, and like the Hannah Montana scene, right? The, the, uh, the second ending of Hannah Montana where basically Hannah and uh, her best friend hugged it out. Yeah. And then it, and then it reverses and it shows, and it shows just some kid playing with a with a Miley Cyrus doll. I so couldn't. that way, that way, Hannah Montana was never real. I couldn't because it's like all the think about it. Like if it was in a game situation, yeah, it's like you gotten so far in the levels, yeah, and then it all went back to the start. So like, um, bro, imagine, imagine, like, like one day I just wake up, I'm seven years old, and then I look on my bed, and it's just a little toy figurine of you. 
No, I bro, no, <laughs> bro, bro. No way. And like you just never existed. It was just me acting like pretending like this toy was like real. Yeah. No, I couldn't. Bro, what I the couldn't. fuck, I man? Couldn't. Oh hell I don't no! Think that I shit continue with life like that. That shit it's like you already bro. went so far within that imagination. Exactly. It's like how do you start from the beginning? Exactly, bro. That shit doesn't make sense. But I hope this is. This is picking up pretty good audio right now. Uh, do you want to pause it here and then check the audio real quick? Yeah, yeah we can check the audio real quick. Let's do that. Or... And we're back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Damn, is so, that hanger good like that? Huh? I mean, it's not bothering the screen and everything. What? The hanger. See what I mean? No, no, it's not bothering the screen. Okay. Yeah. Imagine like mid video, we just see. Oh, fucking hanger. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, right. imagine those ghosts in this room. Bro, you just see like a little white spirit like float around. Fuck, bro. Nah, if someone points that out in the comments, I'm done. I'm like, I'm not living here no more. All right, speaking of ghosts, right? There's this um, there's this Mexican Mexican folklore. Oh, it's like right up my alleyway, bro. Called (laughs) the Night Lady. The Night Lady. Yes, bro. I don't think I've heard of it. So there was a town in there's there's a town in Mexico where this legend was born, right? Yeah. And the Night Lady would literally wait on top of roofs. Like at day, at like broad day. Daytime? Day. Yeah, daytime, bro. Some like some like grudge looking figure. Yeah. And she'd have like her hair down. She'd wear an old white dress and shit like that. Oh. Bro. And so like she'd wait on the roofs of people's houses at day to make sure that you see who's her next victim. Nah. Bro, and she would take and she would take the kids of those families. She would leave the parents alone. But she'd take the kids. Imagine? Bro, oh, what the fuck, I couldn't be bro? a parent and then, like, my child go missing after I seen this lady. Exactly. Get, like, imagine. All right. So, basically, imagine you're just sitting there and and you're like, and you're like shit. And then your your neighbor calls you up and they're like, hey, there's, there's a lady on top of your house. And then you're like, does no. that mean that they're going to, like, it's time for her to take... Take him? children? Yeah. No. Because at that point, I could figure, like, there's nothing you could do. And they say that she would crawl through the window to take your kids. Oh, that Bro. gives me chills. And she'd wait at night. So, like, she'd stay on that roof all day All the long. way till night. Yeah. Until night, until nightfall hits, and then your kids are gone. Imagine if you knew this beforehand. Exactly, like, What can bro. you do? It, uh, fuck, Imagine bro. doing everything in your power to try to stop it. And then your kids will still be gone, bro. I feel like I feel like that's a part of fate, right? So I feel like fate works in a funny way. Like if you watch that, so Raven or like any other fortune teller type show, yeah. like you'll notice that whenever they have these visions, they try to stop them from happening. But you can't. And when you stop them from happening, that actually causes it to happen. Nah. Yeah. So it's like a whole process leading up to like the whole situation. And speaking of which, bro, on a whole different topic, have you ever wondered how sensitive a timeline is? I mean, I thought about it before. It's like, because everything affects one another. So, like, if yeah. you do something and it affects maybe even the smallest thing, those, like, situations can affect something else. Bro, to the smallest fucking detail. Like, exactly. Like, like let's say... Let's Being say, late to work. Exactly, bro. Like, let's say you <clears throat> you instantly... Um, let's say you're passing by a homeless person on the street and you yeah. decide to give them five cents or a dollar, right? Mm-hmm. That, you giving them that money could literally be a whole different timeline. Like, no, like yeah. what follows after that could literally, like, be a whole different direction of your life. Or like, or like me even, me even having this conversation with you right now could be like, could be like different. the difference from, from uh, bro. Like, let's just say for instance, right? You're walking down the street, yeah, and you pick up a penny for out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. You picking up that penny or not picking up that penny could literally decide who you are thirty years later. No, honestly, yeah. Because if you pick up the penny, it's like you have to take into account. The time it takes to bend over to pick up that penny. Yeah, bro. That time right there, you could have walked past by it, done something completely else, never meet certain people who pass by. Well, granted, they're random strangers. Yeah. 
those random strangers you would never would have seen if you didn't stop. Like, bro. All right. And speaking of random strangers, right? They say that they say that uh, one. Now they they say there's some crazy statistic to how many killers you meet on a daily. Like, have you ever thought about that, bro? Have you ever thought? No. Have you ever thought that like? Like, maybe while, like, being at Walmart, you see just, like, some random person passing by. And they killed someone. Or even delivering groceries to somebody. No. Bro, imagine, imagine, you imagine know, if you, You know like, what's crazy? I have, there's actually um, one of our associates working yeah. there. She actually said while she was dispensing an order, she saw, like, a black bag, and it seemed to be wrapped Bro. And she didn't mean to put it in the back because when you're dispensing groceries, usually they'll either have it in the very back or in the very front. Yeah. And then she automatically went to the back because that's how much most customers are. Yeah. And then the guy seemed hesitant. And then there was this black bag tied up, looked like a human being. And she just continued loading up, didn't question it, and then bro, walked away. fuck, bro. Imagine, imagine how many times you probably, like, gave, gave groceries to fucking... To to the a serial next killer that Bundy. yeah literally bro no that's wild like I didn't even think about that but yeah no everyone has like their own individual lives bro that's the thing it's like it's like you could literally be walking past some bro you know how many times you'll see those like serial killer interviews and shit like yeah. that of like the family and shit and they'll be like I never imagined he'd do something like this not even that or like even the ones where it would be like yeah. After my first victim, when he jumped out the car, soon after that, I started putting the child lock on. Yeah, like, that's it's fucking... It's, like, crazy stories like that. It's, like, oh damn. Oh, my God, bro. That shit, that shit terrifies What's me, What's even bro. crazier is imagine being the one in the situation where you were the one who escaped and he changed his whole motive because of you. Fuck, bro. Ah, uh, because didn't, um... Wasn't that how Jeffrey Dahmer got found? Yeah, it was how Jeffrey Dahmer got yeah. found because he let loose one of his victims and then they ended up going to the police and then they ended up coming back to uh -huh. like to like do a whole fucking discovery on it bro which is crazy because mm -hmm. it's like it's like all right jeffrey dahmer might have been an exception because there was crazy smell but like think about how many people jeffrey dahmer walked by oh yeah that that nobody was like that people were probably traumatized because they said they said oh <gasps> I seen him at my local at my local grocery store shopping for regular items. So he was a local to this one shop. Imagine being the fucking imagine being the 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 store that this person buys the rope, the gloves, the the duct tape, the chainsaw from. I couldn't. Like you're just like, "Damn. I kind of wondered what he was doing with them, but like I didn't think he was Oh, killing, killing people. people, yeah. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, dog. Like, ah, oh, <clears throat> fuck, no, bro. That shit fucks with me on a whole different level. All right. The same thing, though, vice versa. Imagine the celebrities or big people bro. walking by and you never knew. He could be a next upcoming artist, next upcoming basketball player. Bro. And you wouldn't fuck, even know. Dog. Fuck that. All right. So, um, so this is a topic that I thought was interesting, right? So they say that when you're dreaming, right? Yeah. You ever dream of falling? Oh, all the time. So they say that when you dream of falling and you wake up in shock, it's because your heart stopped, right? So, and, and like your body's giving you a little wake up call to be like, you're not dead, are you? So basically, right? What if that little, that little dream of you falling yeah. is a glimpse of what death is like? Like eternal falling. No. Because it would make sense because if your heart stops for a second and and that's like why you're having that dream of falling, yeah. then that means that if you if if your heart stops indefinitely, then would you be in an eternal dream of falling? No, that's wild because falling eternally? Yeah, bro. And when, and when I think about that shit, bro, all I can imagine is that Toy Story scene where I think it's Andy and he's just falling down this tre this toy box yeah. and shit, and it's just endless, bro. And that really fucks with me because I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you you ever like you ever sleep and then not have a dream at all? Yeah. 
It's so just it's like, like you sleep and then you wake up and it's like instant. Completely black, right? Like yeah. like you have those little glimpses and it's just like darkness and shit like that. And so it's like, it's like, what if that's what it's like, bro? Just completely black. Like that, that fucking terrifies me, bro. That's like, honestly, that's one of my fears is that like, like, let's say, let's say, um, let's say we don't go anywhere after we die, right? Yeah. Then it's just eternal darkness, bro. Honestly, I feel like that's what it is. That would fuck with me. But at this, no. That I, in itself I, is a hell, dog. No, I agree with you because I enjoy talking to people. Yeah. So you're telling me after I die, it's just me, my own subconscious in a pitch black darkness. I don't want that. Bro, and it's like, and it's like, in a way, bro, that shit like, it, well, like I said, it would be a hell. Yeah. It would be in its own hell because you're, sit, you're sat there in isolation forever. Eternity. Eternally. There's no reincarnation, no heaven, none, none of this shit. No hell. It's just darkness eternally. You know how fucked that is? Darkness eternally with your subconscious. So you have the whole time to think about your wrongdoings, your actions, what you did in life, what you didn't do in life. Fuck, bro. Oh, fuck no, no. Honestly, I couldn't do it. I'll try to kill myself in that darkness. This <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Bro. Uh, all right, so basically, right? So, you know, you do. have you ever had a birthmark? Or do you have a birthmark? I don't think I have a birthmark, but I feel like I have a mole that's like on the back. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I have a birthmark, uh, and it's right here, right there, right? You see it? Okay. Yeah. It's like a little dark spot. It's on my. It's on my. It's like right in between my wrist and uh, and my forearm, right? Yeah. So basically, they say that birthmarks are determined by how you died in your previous life. Damn. So that mole. Bro, I get shot in the back. Bro, <laughs> bro, that shit's crazy, dog. Cause like, like if they say that's how you died, and and like if that's true, then that means this this little this little birthmark on my arm was was probably something like self harm. Are you okay, my friend? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. no, but, but like no, it is crazy. It was something I've thought about before. It's like. So you know the Bible and everything. Yeah. You know the whole stories, whatnot. Yeah. What if we are all just continuous reincarnations? Bro. That so essentially, cool. like, one of us would be like the Adam and Eve. Bro. One of us would be the Cain and Abel. But we're just reincarnated indefinitely after our death. I wonder, like, like, all right. So let's say evolution is happening, right? Yeah. I wonder how evolution takes place like who was the first motherfucker to go from caveman to not so caveman if you know what i mean like no, no, I get like you. like the first albert einstein of caveman's type shit damn who would be the first and how would you even keep up with it, it bro exact bro i'm out here trying to wonder like like all right so you're telling who, me this no, no, no. Think about it this way. Who went from hunting animals to be like, let's write on cave walls? Exactly, dog. It's communication type exactly. shit. So it's like, it's like, it's like, who was that motherfucker that, that saw fire and was just like, you know what? Let me recreate it. Yeah, let me try to make this. And then like, I just want to be there. And it was like, so if you gave me a time machine, I feel like that would be where I'd go. If, like, I had the option to go to any any place in history, I feel like it would either be uh, Nazareth for Jesus and shit like that, yeah. just see that, that whole shit happen, or it would be for the caveman era. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, it's your light. It's fine. It's fine. It's giving me good lighting now, I think. Is it? Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, actually? Give me that one. Give me that one. It'll be fine. You got good lighting, don't you? I think you just got better lighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, no, my lighting isn't too bad. Yeah. So basically, right? So I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'd go back in time to see 
that motherfucker that was just like they're just like fire. like yeah just making fire to see how like brains work when it comes to like evolution and problem solving and shit like that just the first kind of human beings no honestly yeah because if you think about it our mindset was set to one thing before someone was like yeah. what if we change it bro that's f- so who's the person who changed it all bro oh my god gang that shit's ah uh, fuck hell not nah, all right so where's the next one that i was gonna say all right all right bro so you know there's a theory so have you ever have you ever seen have you ever seen like um have you ever been uh looking at out a window at night right through your car and you'll see the street lights and they'll have like those lines through them yeah so they say that that's caused by stigmatisms what do you mean so so hear me out right so i have a i have a i have a stigmatism in, in my eye right and they say that if you can see hold on let me look it up let me look it up if you can see it's the like blurred those, lines it's like, yeah it's like kind of if you like squint your eye it's like more lines will yeah. follow right after yeah yeah if you can see those blurred lines then you have a stigmatism oh so you're saying like not everyone sees those blurred yes lines. exactly no. exactly bro no i nah i swear to god i bro bro i thought i thought i thought everybody saw, saw it yeah. like i thought everybody saw it. but apparently people don't see it the same like apparently some people just see it as the light and only the light like no no brightness mm-hmm. around it no, none of that fucking line shit it's just the light just like that like they, they only see it like that no, I can't be in that percentage that sees the lines. Bro, I swear to God, bro, I can't, I can't. All right, so it kind of makes sense because I actually have astigmatism. Which is? Which, which is in my, uh, it's in my left, my left eye. Yeah. Which, which blows my fucking mind because it would, like, it just makes sense. Nah, that's wild. Bro, so like, so like, next time you see those fucking little, those little lines, mm-hmm. just be like, be like, yo, I might need some glasses. Cause not everyone sees them. Yeah, bro, that shit's crazy, bro. Fuck no. You know, for a second, I thought we all see the same, but we don't. I swear, we dog. Don't. I swear, bro. I swear to God, I thought the same fucking thing. Oh wait, is this still working? All right, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. All right, um, so, all right, next one is gonna be, all right. So this one, this one is a little inspiration took from Jumper Jumper. Shout out to Jumper Jumper. <laughs> so, bro, if you really think about it, the coins in Mario, right? Yeah. Are souls. What do you mean? Because, because, all right. So the only item that gives you coins are is a fire flower. Yeah. And it gives you coins when you kill the Goombas and shit. Yeah. So, so you kill a Goomba, you get a coin. Exactly. No. Exactly. We're collecting Goomba souls. Bro, bro, that shit threw my fucking brain for a loop, And bro. don't with enough coins, you get like a life? Yes. So an essential, How many souls, souls equal lives. Nah. You know, you can kind of radiate that back to like, even our world, there's mad or people who we consider madman who would say if you kill a certain amount of people, yeah, you gain more time to your life. Nah, cause I'm a fucking Jeffrey Dahmer dead. <laughs> <laughs> he dead as hell. <laughs> hey, yeah. he might be dead now. Ted Bundy dead as hell. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Char- Charles Mason is that what his name is? I feel like that's right, yeah. It Charles like Mason's right. dead as hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, I was going to say O.J. Simpson, but that motherfucker's still alive. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> hey, it's working for him. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, bro. So, all right. And then there was this one theory, right? So, bro. What if Egyptians were led by a higher power? You mean like aliens? Yes. All right, so hear me out, right? Okay. So you know how everybody says that mummies are found in in Egyptian tombs and shit yeah, like that? Yeah, it's like their tumble. No. What do you nope. mean? Nope. Nope. Mummies are not found near pyramids 
or any shit like that. Are they not? Nope. So that begs the question, what the fuck was a pyramid meant to do? If it's not meant to hold a it's, mummy. it's mummies and it's higher powered people. Yeah. Then what the fuck was the purpose of it? And mind you, they built three of them. Yeah. So what? And, and they say and they say that the fact that the fact that, bro, they had precision with people, mind you, people yeah, back no. in the day. They, they precision. Said if you would have messed it up by a couple of inches, it would not have worked. Not even a couple of inches, bro. A couple of centimeters, dog. Damn. Bro, like 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 the fact all right. They they said that they said that the precision that it took to cut each block was damn near laser precision. Like So you're saying humans couldn't have done it. Bro, no. Fuck no. And these blocks weighed tons, dog. Like ten one singular block would weigh like ten tons. So how did they even get them up? Bro. That's what we're trying to find out. And they're out. going up steep hills. They're going up steep hills that should not be climbable. By any, no matter who, especially if you have a 10 ton fucking brick, brick on your back. You won't be able to lift it. You're not being able to get up these steep mountains that they have to climb just to get these fucking bricks. And, and they said that the bricks were made miles away from the fucking pyramids. So the, it only leads to one answer. Another source. Bro, bro, I'm starting to think that, like, what if these pharaohs and shit that were painted up there yeah. weren't pharaohs? That's why they look so much like cats, right? Yeah. Because because what if what if we got the image wrong of aliens? And aliens just look like cat people. Alright, that that shit was ridiculous. Don't take anything no. I just said. No. The first thing that came to my mind was Dragon Ball. Beerus. Exactly. Bro. Bro, it's like it's like All right, it's 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 hard to believe that aliens would look like cats. And why would they look like cats? Well, if you think about it, cats themselves, they think themselves as a higher power. Exactly, bro. Cuz like if you think about it, a cat is like so selfish. It's like, "Oh, we're cleaning their litter box." Yeah. We're petting them. We're feeding them. Like like a cat, a cat like holds a his cat, nose up to you. That's a, why a cat isn't as grateful as a dog. Yeah, that's why some people say that that dogs are better than cats because cats are less uh, obedient. Yeah, so they'll look at you after you feed them and be like, "Fuck, do you want?" Like, like they they'll be like, they'll be like, "Who the fuck do you think you are?" They're already like, taking the high road. Yeah, like like they look at you as nothing more than somebody that feeds them, whereas a dog looks to you as like a owner, a yeah. companion, a friend. Mm -hmm. And shit like that. Plus, you feed them, but it's like it's like, bro. What if, what if these things? What if there was there was creatures back in the day that could help build and move these certain things? Mind you, each of these things were aligned with uh, with constellations. Yeah, no, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and the crazy thing is, is that. I believe it was the first couple of the first couple of uh, alignment was the first uh, the alignment of the pyramids was equal to the speed of light. No, they, that is something yeah. I remember hearing. Yeah, which is fucking wild. So what if they were building it to give us like help assistance? What if what if you know the seven wonders of the world, right? Yeah. What if they were fucking, what if they were like. A guide? A guide, yeah. Or like, or like little pillars to just let, to let people know that they've done this. There's something aliens, else out there. Yeah. To give a, to give a signal towards aliens. Like, hey, we did it. We done it. When are you going to return? Type shit. Nah, it's wild. Bro. Bro, and all right, so so if you really want to get deep into this shit, so Moses, right? Yeah. Egyptian. What did he do? Split the sea. Yeah. Have you ever thought about how fucking wild that is? No, it's crazy. To split the sea? Like, half? like was Moses a fucking human or was he? Something else. Yeah. Like, 
You know, I never thought about that, incorporating yeah. the Bible within aliens. Bro, bro, I, I sound like a madman right now, but... Hey, you gotta be a madman to bro, get right. Bro, fucking Jesus walking on water and shit like that. What if these were just alien visits to the extreme? And then we just saw it and took place of it and then put belief in it. Yeah. Like, like what if, what if, if an alien... Because if you think about it, every religion has their sort of reiteration of like, yeah events that happen exactly. and it all if you look at every single religion it all kind of ties back into the same thing so what if we all just saw it happen but everyone took it as something different what if each religion has its own different alien think about it buddha buddha fucking um i never thought about H- like hinduism that. so they're just each different alien visits yeah in different areas yeah. Honestly, that could actually work. Bro, bro, even if you want to get real deep into this shit, so like, what if each alien had its own assigned place? I think we talked about this before. Oh, we might have. We might have. We might have. Because now that I'm thinking about it, it does sound familiar. But what if, bro? Like, imagine, imagine that shit, dog. Each one had their own area to govern. Control. Yeah. Like, imagine that shit, bro. Like, that's fucking wild. Like, to even... We're going to piss so many religions, religious oh, people off. But, like... All theories. Yeah, all theories. I'm I'm a fucking Baptist, and I firmly believe in Jesus Christ. So, I'm just a Mexican. Yeah. So you can't say... And if you didn't know Mexican people, their families are very religious. Catholic. So... Yeah, you can't you can't sit there and say that we fucking need Jesus or like we don't believe in the the, the shit we say or whatever because like it's just all fun and games at the end of the day. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching. All right, all right, but yeah, all right. So I'm gonna have to wrap this shit up. It's getting oh shit, we're only 26 minutes in. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think we're that long in. All right, all right, we can we can we can talk about some more things. Then. We can have a couple more, yeah. All right, but um. All right, bro, so tell me I'm not the only one, I'm not the only one, right? Yeah. That I'm going to bring back some memory for, I'm going to bring back a memory for some people. Okay. But please tell me you, like, I'm not the only one that would race raindrops, like, on the windows. Like, oh, you'd yeah. see, you'd see the windows and, like, you'd, or, or if you're in the car as a kid and you're seeing the fucking raindrops Go across the go across the window. You'd uh-huh. be like, you'd be like, which one's gonna fly out first? Exactly. Like, like you sit there and be like, be like, oh, 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 uh-huh. oh, shit! He took him over. He took him over. Oh, shit! Like, then you have that one that just zooms by. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, I swear, I thought, I, I that shit brought me back because I was watching this movie and it was called uh, Shadows something. It was called Into the Shadows or some shit like that. And I thought I was on, I was the only one that like would do that as a kid. Honestly, I feel like a good amount of us had, like, the same childhood memories, bro, but without realizing it. And, bro, you know what's crazier? All right, if you... All right, think about it, right? Your kids, our kids... Pause. <laughs> not, not me and your kids together. But our future kids are going to have different childhood memories growing up. Yeah, because we grew up with, like... Wizard of Waverly Places, yeah. you know, like stuff like that. There's kids who don't even know who like Alex Russo is, bro, bro, bro. The fact that the fact that my kid is gonna grow up saying, "What's Toy Story?" is gonna fucking blow my mind. I gotta show him. I'm gonna what's, have to have what's a, like the what's a Nemo and everything. No. Well, what's a Nemo, Dad? What's like cars, bro. Are you telling me they made a vi- they made a they made a movie based on like cars talking and shit like that? Like, there's no I'm gonna have to educate them, bro. What the fuck, dog? Because it's like, it's like, oh my god. I mean, you can kind of see it in our generation. Yeah, you those kids would be like, who's Michael Jackson, bro? That that's what's gonna fuck me over, bro. Some one day, one day, some kids gonna go out there and say, what's Drake? Like, nah, like, bro, and bro, like, imagine you're like, you're like bumping fucking Drake. You're bumping fucking Drake when you're 60 and then like, runs Dad, in the room. what are you playing? Yeah. No. Bro, bro, what the fuck, bro? Oh, hell nah, dog. 
Like, and I just want to see, like, all right, so how long do you think Mickey Mouse is going to run for? I say a good 40, 50 years. Uh, still? Yeah. Dude's been out for almost 100 years already. You don't think? No. Don't how think long so, do you bro. think? Bro started in, like, 1950, 1960s or something. I mean, like I that. feel like most people forget after, like, 100 years. Yeah. But, like, damn, them fuckers are making bank. If they started in 1960, 1950-ish. Okay, think about it this way. How long do you think before the Avengers are no longer relevant? Before oh, no, I'll give it I'll give it 10 more years. 10 more years? Really? Mm, 20. Because think about it, it. Like, the whole Superman, like, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Yeah. Like, someone created these... Stanley, creators. Stanley, yeah. put some respect on that fucker's name. I love him, bro. I, I kind of so hate sad. the ending. Like the whole so thing is died, like it was bro. supposed to be like Captain America as Stanley going through like the different timelines. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm gonna miss seeing a Stanley cameo in every yeah. Mario movie. I mean, in every Marvel movie. Like you, you, you can't have that no bro, more. Bro, you remember when you'd be a kid and you'd be watching Spider Man or some shit, and mm -hmm. you try to, and you'd be like. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, It's yeah. like Finding Water. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, you'd, you'd rewatch the scenes. And, you, like, like, I remember one time, bro, I was a kid and I was watching, I think it was Spider-Man 2 or some shit like that. And I was so upset because I didn't see Stan Lee. And then I remember rewinding it and I was like, ah, got his ass. <laughs> I was like, yes, sir. I was like, ain't no uh, way, bro. Like, that's fucking... And you know what's crazier? What? These kids aren't going to know what the fuck Stan Lee is. They're not. They're just going to know the Hulk for the Hulk, Iron Man for the Iron Man. Mm -hmm. They're, They're not going to know. like, who's that? Bro. Oh, fuck. No, dog. Oh, hell no, bro. Because, like, that. It's like a life. It's a whole different life. That fucks with me, bro. Because, like, kids are already forgetting who Elvis is. Mm-hmm. Fuck. King of pop. Bro, like. Oh, shit, dog. There's going to be so much, like. Like, I know, I know I'm going to turn, like, 80. Uh, no, not 80. I'm going to turn, like, 60-ish. And then my kids are going to be like, why are you playing that song? And it's going to be, it's going to be like, she was stuck by a smooth criminal. And, and I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, no. You don't know what this shit was back in the day. <laughs> this is a here, boy. Uh, Let me put you on some game. Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, put some respect on my boy MJ, goddammit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Bro, fuck no, dog. Like, all right, so, um, all right, uh, shit. You know the Lion King's, like, 30 years old now? Is it? There's no way. Bro, Lion King was made in, like, 07. No, no, it's not 2030. It's, like, 20, almost, almost 30, though. Damn. Yeah. I forget how old we are. Bro, I know, dog. Sometimes I feel like I'm just, like, 17, 18. Like bro, Lion King, what, what year was the Lion King made in? What year was the Lion King made in? Let me see. It's <sighs> like the Lion Jungle King. Book. King. It's like, that was made of Jungle Book. Jungle Book is crazy. 1994. 19? 1994 is when the Lion King was made. That shit was popping back in, like, 20... 2000 and 2000 That's about like, 20 years then yeah. yeah no 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 no. not no. about it's um no it is about 20 yeah years it's about later. 20 years no because technically if you're if it if it's in 2000 if it was made in 2000 it's 2023 so it's 20. no it's 30 it's 30 is it it's 30 on the dot i think no 29 it's 29 because 2023 and it's 1994 oh, so yeah. yeah it's 29 which is fucking wild, bro. Oh, no, it is. Like the fact that the fact that one day, one day, some kids just gonna be like, "What's a kuna matata?" And I'm be like, "What a wonderful it phrase!" Means <laughs> <there is laughs> <Sorry>. For <laughs> the rest of our days, bro. Thirty fucking years old, dog. And they won't know. We're fucking old. Oh my god. Oh Time my doesn't god, stop for nobody. Bro. Oh my fuck, bro. Yeah. 30 years. Let that sink in. Here, let me open the door real quick. Bro. <laughs> bro. That shit blows my mind. The fact that the fact that one day the Lion King will reach 100 years old. Mhm. Mm bro. 
And which brings me to my next topic. Nothing and like the nothing in that we do in this life really matters. Oh no! In the next hundred, two hundred years, all forgotten. All forgotten. Uh huh. Unless if we make like that major impact, whatever we do, does not matter. And the, unless there's like the next Albert Einstein. Yeah. Nothing None fucking of, matters. Nothing matters. Unless you do some shit that in that puts you in the history books, genuinely it doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. matter. Elon Musk, he'll be there for sure. We're doing shit for PR goals now. Like, like that's that's dead ass what like what we that's our goal in life. People say like KSI says a legacy shit like this, but yeah. genuinely, it's just for PR, like personal record, like personal uh-huh. best. He's mm-hmm. hitting he's hitting new highs and shit like that. But in I want to say give it like sixty years, nobody's gonna know who he is. Nope. I I hate to break it to him, but nobody's going to know who he is. Nobody's going to know what he did. Nobody's going to know this, that, and the third. So, like, technically, if you think about it, you should push yourself not to make a legacy, but to make a PB or a PR. personal best. Yeah. So, like, like, just be like, like, damn, we hit 100 followers. I want to hit 2 million. Not for a long run, but just for, just for, just for... Yourself. Me. Yeah, yeah, just for me. Just to say that I fucking did that. Yeah. So like that's why that's why I kinda envy per- PRs and shit more than legacies. Because don't get me wrong, legacy only counts in your family. Cause let's yeah, say no. let's say let's say KSI is the first millionaire in his family. They're all gonna know who the fuck he is. Mm-hmm. But everyone else? Yeah. If there's a trillionaire who's like, you just hit a million? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, crazy. Like, like, there you go. Like, like I spent a million right now. Oh God, bro. So it's like, it's like in the long run, like not really much fucking matters. I just like doing this because I got a mic. This shit is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so fun. Uh, so, are you a football guy? I grew up watching football, yeah. but not really like that. All right, so uh, Kansas City. And Eagles are playing today. Are they? Oh yeah, the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, Super Bowl. Who do you think wins? Kansas City or Eagles? I feel like Eagles. Yeah, I'm going Eagles too. Really? Good shit. Good shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. We shall Eagles. see tomorrow. Oh God! Nah, fuck! Oh, I don't want the I don't want the fucking Chiefs to win. I I just hate cocky bastards. And Patrick <laughs> Mahomes is just a cocky <laughs> bastard. Like I hate I hate motherfuckers that just like. Think yeah, I'm the shit. Well, at Besides, the same time, you need that ego to stick, yeah. to like keep you going. Because if you think about it, that's their whole life. If oh, they yeah. lose, you know how much they hate say, they get. They say that you should have an ego, but know when to drop that shit down. Like, like you should have an ego, but if you're standing in front of the Rock, let's say, know that the Rock is the Rock. Yeah, like like you're not out here just being like just being like, well, fuck you, The Rock. I got a million point nine followers on TikTok. Fuck you. Yeah, like like you can't just do that. Like like you gotta learn respect with that shit type shit. No, I get you. Put an ego, but in your own game, your own. Yeah, role. yeah, yeah. People should always have an ego, but like use it good, use it wisely. Um, the only person I feel like should rightfully have an ego is that nigga Joe Burr, Joe Burr from the fucking Cincinnati Bengals. That nigga got swag. He the only he the only white guy that I might give a pass. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> only white guy I might pass. That's wild. Yeah, him. It's it's him. Eminem and um. Oh, Eminem straight got it. Oh yeah, yeah. Eminem can walk into any hood and probably say it, and like won't nobody will give a fuck. Nobody besides like an Eminem hater. But um. True. Ah uh, fuck. Who else? Who else? Who else? Not ever. Nope. That's about it. Joe Burr and Eminem. Them two niggas. They got it. Joe Burr, come on the podcast, please. <laughs> please, please. All right, all right, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the podcast now because this shit's gonna take a lot of editing. Where but is it at now? Uh, around like thirty, thirty eight ish. That's still not too bad, honestly. Yeah, that's not too bad compared but. to what we usually do. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. But I want to watch the fucking Super Bowl, so I'm gonna have to get fucking going. But um, soon we're gonna have a flag right here with our fucking logo on it. Mexican. So, you guys are going to love it. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Yeah.